we're now going to record our own digital story using Microsoft Photo Story 3, which is a free Microsoft download, obviously. Um, and you can get that from Googling Photo Story or Photo Story 3 and go to the appropriate website to download it. Make sure you download Media Player 10 or 11 at the same time because you'll need that to play your photo story. Before you start into Photo Story, it's a good idea to get together your images, sound effects, music, those sorts of things that you're going to use for your story and store them in a folder that you can um, put on your desktop, that's what I've done there, or in a place where you can easily access your um, content. Okay, we're going to begin a new story and click Next. I'm now going to import my pictures. They're going to appear down here on this timeline and we'll be able to order them and play with them to get them in the order we want in our photo story. Okay, here's my images and I'll hold down the control button and select those and they will import onto my timeline. Okay, and there we go. They're all there on the timeline with one of them up in my viewing screen. There's a black border around this image and that's because I've selected images from the web so that they're not too large for most photo story. Um, so I'm going to click remove black borders and photo story will then go through all of my images and it'll reduce them a bit but will reduce those black borders as well. So I'll say yes to all. Okay, that's done. And you can see we've got a much better effect now. Now, one of my images has still got the black border, this one here. So I'm going to edit that and crop some of the black out. Um, I just want that as an effect. Um, so I'm quite happy with that being cropped down. And I'll say save and close. And there we go. We've just got a, a much closer angle there, um, or closer shot on our image. Okay, now um, I need to order my images along this timeline so that they're in the order I want to tell my story. So I'll just drag them around. You notice you can drag and drop them so that um, I get a suitable effect. This one's not showing up very well, so I'll just delete that one. Um, and I probably don't need that one either, so I'll delete that. And... This one's going to go up here, that's our last one. And yes, now I'm quite happy with the order of my images. I'm now going to do something with this one because that's going to be my title page. So I'm going to go back into Edit. So I'll click on this one, go back into Edit. And I'm going to go up here to Add Effects. Click on that. And you'll see here this Effects box. At the moment it's um, showing none. But I'm going to select a washout colour or wash out effect and you can see that fades it out a bit. Um, I'm quite happy with that. That'll give me something quite nice to type my title page onto. So I'll save that and close and yes I'm quite happy with that. I then click next on the wizard and I'll go through to the area where I add my title. Now I can just type that in there. We're going to call this telephone skills. Um, bit small, so I click up here and I'll make that a bit bigger. I might even make it a colour. Let's see, we'll make it blue. It should stand out quite nicely. Yes, I'm quite happy with that telephone skills. I've got it centred, but I could have it um, up higher or down lower um, or right down at the bottom. I think I like the centering position much better. Okay, I click next and we're on to where we narrate our story. You can see on this side of the screen is the narration. Photo Story 3 has a, a movement capacity where it seems to move across the photo and focus on different aspects of it. It's set automatically, but if you wanted to customise that movement, you can go in here to the Customise Motion. You can set the duration automatically or have it display for a different number of seconds. You can change your start position and your end position if you want. I'm quite happy to leave it in the preset, so I'll just click close. I'm now going to type some notes here um, to assist me when I do my recording. So I'll put introduction about um, how important 
and I can go through and add some notes to assist me with my narration. When I've got my notes done, I can then go up here um, and click on the record button to record my narration. I can stop here to stop my recording and if I'm unhappy with it, I can delete my narration. You'll notice that a recording um, bubble will appear on each photo. In Photo Story 3, your recordings are linked to your photos, so there's no way that they'll go beyond your actual photo. When I'm happy with my narration, I click Next and I go to the section where I can add my music. You have two options with Photo Story 3. You can either select your own music or you can use the music created for Photo Story 3. So if I select music, I go to my own area where I've got some music that I've downloaded from um, a copyright free area. There is quite generous allowance made for use of music in education, so in an education facility you have much more option. Um, alternatively, I can go into create music here and it takes me to the special um, music that is part of the photo story suite. Um, I think I will add my own music, so I'll go in here and I'll have open that again. Actually, Open Forest is a bit short, so I might change it for something else. We'll put in Intrepid Traveller. There we go, and you can see Intrepid Traveller does go right along my timeline to the end of my um, images to my recording. I can now preview and see how the image and the narration fits together before I click next and move on. Um, the format that I want to save my photo story in, you can see I can save it for playback on my computer. I can play it in a lesser size file for sending as an email. Save it for playback on a pocket PC with media player. Uh, save it for playback on a smartphone, uh, for a portable media center, which could be a PSP, or for a DVD, for playback on my home DVD player. So I've got quite a few options for how to save my photo story. I'm going to select to save it for playback on my computer. It's going to go and save into my videos. Um, I'm quite happy for it to um, save there. And I'll click next to leave photo story. Before I leave photo story, I get the option to save it as a project. And that's a very good thing to do because then you have the option of going back and saving it in another format at another time. That ends our very brief overview of Photo Story 3. I'm sure that you'll enjoy using it to make both uh, photo stories that you can use within your work or in your personal life as well. Thank you for being with us today.